Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna go rob a casino with Rogue. All right, access to the Fabergé Chow Egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we uh, distract the guard? Distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough for that work to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Oh, thank you. But is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. I'm not, so, I'm not smiling. Shush. It seems like they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm going to be in a casino, my po poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Um. Let's go with Blaze. Blaze can distract them. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G -g Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. <laughs> well, I ain't trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh, push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask Chow about their partner and kids. Wait, the little Chow is a security guard? Oh, um. Yeah, push a. Uh, tell, pretend the claw machine is stuck. What's a claw machine in the casino? Hey, really cool people. Claw machines are fun. This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rogue, will you get that? How will you get the access card? Uh, grab them up and fly up to the. Grab them and fly up to the rafters. That doesn't work. Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access card. Access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rogue. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. <laughs> no promises. With a car obta card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there, Puds. What's your plan? Um... Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Yeah! Then you'll be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I, uh... You dressed far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Um, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. You'd have to work on your fortitude. <laughs> then we'll try something else! The card obtained... Wait, is there actually wrong answers? Um, say so there's a drink without a coaster. Yeah. <laughs> drink without the coaster, that's vile. Absolutely vile. I can't think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll all make it to the elevator. Inside we, uh, sing Victoria Acap Victory Acapella, uh, celebrity, Cel celebratory dance. Now that's what I call proper victory. I don't know if that was word shush. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Um, have tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I should, I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Uh, I cry and hopefully sympathize. Imagine you're not in pain and pretend there's nothing wrong. Uh, I cry and hopefully sympathize. Tails managed to do it. I guess it didn't ma uh, matter which one I picked. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Everyone is ready. It's time to execute. Re I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up with that elevator. And... Boom, boom, boom! We're in! I knew that plan would go off without a hitch. I couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. <laughs> Switching back between all the different voices is very straining. Oh my god. 
Our plan beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we must claim a real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Uh, in this safe? No questions. This has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprint. Oh, enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rogue. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow, wow. That is very fancy. It's here. <laughs> I have it. All right. Before anyone else sees us, let's get out of here. Oh, hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rogue, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. Y you can open the egg? You sure can, and all you will bear witness to its secret. Rogue, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Um... Tick, tick, tick. Wow, really? You just said everyone who's opened it doesn't live to tell the tale. Don't you think it might be booby-trapped? Uh-oh. Rogue, as no one lived to tell the egg secret, because each egg is a bomb. <laughs> I love Blaze's face right now. I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg. Now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rogue. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where to put our, Where do I put this thing? It's an excellent question. What do we do? You just... Oh god. Um... Throw and lock it in the safe? Quick, put the, this egg back, Rogue. Ugh, fine. It's going back in. That's what she said. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. What? Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. Must be what, some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials? What are you supposed to? We don't have time for this to mess with this. Think of something else. Um. Let's finish letting it tick. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb putts. That's our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Putts, I think you're onto something. Huh? Well, what's right? Spread it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Uh, sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. D did he? What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist, assist in keeping the train spots? Robotic. Yeah, the robotic arms. Oh! They would attack us and get rid of the bomb if it was actually a weapon. Those robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought on the train disguised as Fabergé Chow Egg, the arms would have detected it and would have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow this on such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. Oh? The egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You really both were on to something. Whew. My, my. Well, that was one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Ian, look what's inside. <gasps> that is actually adorable. <laughs> wow, look at that sparkle. It's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. Oh, it's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkling ornament? 
Oh, I must admit, it is stunning. You said that no one lived to tell that lived to tell the Fabergé Chow egg secret. Wonder why if the ch egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. <laughs> That's actually completely fair. <laughs> Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, do, 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 do. Woo, big guy. No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. Hopefully they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? <laughs> Thank you both for your assistance. The hunt was exactly the thrill I was thinking. Stealing was, uh, strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rogue. Rogue? She's completely absorbed in the bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Oh, well, I appreciate your assistance. It's, as I said, finders keepers. I need them a little bit longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of sentences to make things better. <laughs> but I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Very, very, very powerful. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. You have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rogue one of these. He passed through earlier. Oh, a key. Let me unlock the door so you can move forward. You know, we had a lot of people mention you, Rogue. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, putz. Let's head out. Gotcha! The mystery continues. Oof. My throat hurts. <gasps> trash bin! Tails! Must search the trash bin! <sighs> it's empty. Oh? Oh, did I hear an O? I've always believed in the thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See? It's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date. When she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Um... That's creepy. <laughs> they weren't even dating? And he would drive two hours to give her a flower? That would make me so uncomfortable. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. I... that... Don't, don't call that caring, that, no, that's, that's stalkerish behavior. And that's, um, very sweet. But all that's in the trap, in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all there, that's here. But, but is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. Oh, oh, isn't the... Wasn't Shadow... Eating a lollipop? Who was eating a lollipop? Someone was. The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. Uh, Alright, let's move on to the next door. We need to get going. Let's go find Shadow. Wait, play games? You can play games in there? What do you mean I can play games in there? What do you mean I can play games in there? Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Now is as good as time as any to clean up my pockets. Empty it out. I know you won't talk to me, and I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get to I don't know what voice shadow is is like edginess it's hard to get a word in as you ne as you talk over me i have my reasons i no reason is convincing enough 
It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? I see. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. <laughs> I'd also like to like, know why you've been locking the doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. Not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you would leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Puds, it seems like Shadow wasn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right. Ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Puds. Uh, what have you been finding, Amy? Glad you two have finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been through. We've been through. Thorough? Oh, thorough. Do you have any clues for us? <laughs> Just a hot tip and all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Can you... I hear you're sharing is caring. No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. So curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Alright. Uh, hey, it's the big chow band. Uh, give us a jam. That was nice. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Hello. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Uh, bring me a cold chaos cola. Nope, not listening to me. Uh, I'm quite parched, too. Sames. I could run and get a chaos cola for you. Uh, no, I'll be alright. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here, after all. Uh, what's this? Puts, can you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. Okay, fine. Alright, watch a pro. Ah, <laughs> All this dust, you open the door too fast, it blew everywhere. Oh. Alright, what's this? Huh? Tails, do you see this? A pull string. Puts! What? It's gotta activate something. But the, the back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. Must mean something big. Oh? This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Shh! Quick, back through the passage before they spot us. Interesting. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage. Okay. What's over here? Printer? Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Uh, Sonic's rowing a boat. Hmm, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. But I wouldn't let it stump me. <laughs> and here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Uh, there's a corkboard here. Hmm. The key ring must be Shadows, the locksmiths. Interesting. There are only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring. Gotcha. I told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Like to print out pictures of Sonic on a robo? Trash bin! Tails. No. Tails, I, I think we should check the trash bin. 
This is like the fucking spittoon in West of Loathing. <laughs> every trash bin has been empty puds and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash can, puds? There's always something in the trash can. <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. What? What's this? <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this just isn't trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Rumbled paper. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow. Why'd you come over here? There's nothing I can help you with. I'll ask you to leave me be. That stare, so cold. No, oh, maybe we will get out of here a bit, actually. Puds, we certainly will not. <laughs> Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. I'm sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Huh? Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my big hot tip. Well, I mean... Ah. <laughs> so I meant to say... Alright, um... <laughs> I hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? The Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So, you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point still stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Does the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Puds and I can explain the car change, however. Hmm? Puds, what evidence do we have that shows that Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? There's a secret passage. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Oh, God. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Ah! Try to drink some of my drink before. Ooh. Oh, God. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Ow, oh, okay, well, I fucked that up. Okay, 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 I got this, 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 I got this. And bounce, and over here, and over here, and bounce, and over here, and over here, and bounce, and over here. Oh god, move my mouse. Oh god, oh fuck, I fucked up, I fucked up. I fucking tried to move my mouse, and then I got all... Oh god. Fuck. Alright, and then get that. Over here, and bounce. Bounce over. Fuck, fuck, oh, come on, I was right there. Oh, you suck. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's too intense. Oh, God, not enough rings. Are you shooting me? <sighs> okay, come on, we got this. Fucking finally! Yay! Okay, we did it! I did it! Yes! Cool! 
But then I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A, a secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Puds. Uh, this is... this just... this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor's car, then brought the crime scene being... then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor's car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Sonic or Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! <laughs> Seems Tails and I were more than thorough than or than thorough than you. If Tails is not going to or Shadow is not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Um, well, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Buds, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, uh, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Uh, Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at the reading table. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What, what was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Well, like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why would you have been searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true, everyone's been able to unlock the next door. Oh, I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys. Perhaps, but then I can further validate Shadow's claim. We can do that. Puds, what evidence support Shadow claim that he was giving keys away? Uh, oh, his key ring. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts on. Oh god. Oh, I don't want to get. I don't want to get. I don't want to do this again. This game is gonna be murder. The game is murder. I just. Okay. God, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, fucking the spikes. Oh, stop it, stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, fine. It's fine, Jordan. Come on. Okay, I just need to not run into the spikes nearly as much. My second try too. There's only one reason that would there's exactly two keys on that ring. Those are the two key shadow men to give Espio and Vector. N no way. Well, well, what about his own key? Couldn't one of those be one for him? I have my own key on me. T interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder. What if he was trying to lock the key to prevent the murder? Hmm? I think Puts and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Mm -hmm. Has anyone told today given you a birthday present? Oh, almost everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. 
Um, just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay, just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Puds? Ah, uh, yes, too? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking exits and he gave everyone stationed in the car a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away? Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Us, Puds. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Uh, what? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. Hey, you know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Oh, dare. Puds, show me the evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, uh, okay, okay. He also thinks Shadow is trying to keep away Amy away so that he could buy the the ticket, the concert ticket for her. But I've been shows the yeah. My concert tickets. Feels right. Oh. I'm so done I'm thinking. Oh, why is this so fast? This is so much faster. Oh okay. Oh god, oh god. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh god. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. We're, we're good. We're good. We're Gucci. We're grand. Oh god, why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm panicking. Just give me as many rings as I can. Oh god. Okay, we're good. Oh, I like dissociate on the numbers and I was like, wait, did I need 75 out of 78? What's going on? You went rooting through the trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. Oh, honey. It's a band ticket website. Tails don't. <gasps> Guess, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is <sighs> my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be re ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured out things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band ticket web exists because... Uh... Shadow is buying tickets for me. Do I have to be? No, I'm just gonna call him out. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yeah. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Sh Shadow. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When well, logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Oh, the- yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with the computers, admittedly. I can't believe this after I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's in the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault here. Sorry. Uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. Concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The one you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because of the con because the conductor gave me this. 
This key opens up any door on the train. I've gone through every locked door with ease. The plane plants fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Is it? <laughs> Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. Uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's already happening. I can't wait to the show of a lifetime. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. Aww. He's so good. I hang with lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. Seems like the mystery of Shadow's locked door has finally reached its end. I blame my source for all this. It wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who's the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through the end. I'm more than happy to have you both. Puds, I hate to see it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right then, let's do this. All right, and we're gonna go check out the com the conductor's car next time. <laughs> Super exciting. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. Good night, my grandma, gamer, sweet dreams, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.